Hello everyone, I uh, haven't done a review for a long time, but here is one. This is the Denbosinki LBX Minerva Kai from the Denbosinki Double um, W series. And this is, as the name actually suggests, uh, is the Minerva uh, Custom. So the original Minerva is one of the three protagonist unit, and halfway through the storyline, um, they have to go to space. So all three of them got to upgrade. Well, two of them got completely replaced, while Minerva got the upgrade to become the space-worthy uh, Minerva Kai. So first of all, this is a very, very impressive boss art, to be honest. I have never seen a LBX actually with this nice of a boss art. Uh, except for... No, I could think of one that is actually better, but this is very, very good. So you can see what you get from this box. A big emphasis on the arm, by the way. And her special attack is the um, Homura... Uh, Homura... Is it? Homura Kusushi uh, Kimari. Kimari as in the ultimate. The ultimate flame smash, basically. Something like that. There you go. And again, just like the uh, audio uh, Minerva as well as um, the protagonist unit is uh, Yamano Hakase's um, handmade unit. Yeah, that's it. The menu is standard, pretty standard fare here. Yeah, once again, you have a picture of Rana here of uh, the LBX uh, player of Minerva Kai. More picture of Minerva Kai, a bit of a storyline, a bit of a comic about uh, how Minerva Kai has been custom and people suggest to make it even more Japanese by using um, origami paper with all of the different pattern on him. Yeah. Color instruction as normal. Nothing too special here. Uh, Minerva Kai has no transformation gimmick on her, so there isn't any special transformation instruction here. So yeah, that's it for the menu. Now Minerva Kai does come with quite a lot of stickers. Uh, in fact, I have used some of it, and you can see that I've actually did some cutting in here. But yeah, there's plenty of stickers here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think it actually covers all the color, but pretty good. Uh, overall, I think if you use all the stickers, it will look reasonably well. And from what I could see, the stickers done reasonably well in most cases. So they fit pretty well and they seem to stay pretty well, except for those two I will worry about. Because uh, those are folding two pieces of flat stickers onto something very curvy, which you'll see later on. So, Minerva Kai. Nah. There you go. So, Minerva Kai looks pretty amazing, actually. Um, the original Minerva is pretty um, streamlined, very streamlined. It has the um, standard Strider frame, which... Um, is it Strider frame? Yeah, it's a Strider frame, which means that she has tight to tip, um, tip toe and uh, very, very thin arms. And to, company, uh, to compromise for um, Rana, a more martial art heavy punch and kicking style, um, it was given a pair of claws. Well, um, it was fine in on land, but uh, to uh, help her operate better when they have the ha second half, well, not second half of the storyline, but the last part of the story happened in space, um, we never need to be f able to fly and need to have a ring weapon. So she was given this pair of gauntlets, which is actually a pair of beam cannon on both hands. It also uh, double as a basic punching bag. Uh, punching gloves because they have um, a hardened tip. In fact, I think it's designed to be painted on actually. I suppose they paint those two in, in something like silver tips or something like that. So that is the most major difference. Um, oh, the legs is much thicker, which is a little bit contradictory really uh, because now that Minerva is in space, why does she need bigger legs? But yeah, she's a lot more stable than the standard Strider frame because of that, so she can stand really, really well and balance. I'll start it now. And just to make sure you know that is the modified version, here's a giant 
kanji of the word kai here. Yeah, I guess that's also part of the reason. So she has some extra thrusters on the back of the leg. Um, what else is change? Oh, that bat skirt has changed. That bat skirt um, used to be much longer. In fact, I can show you here. It used to be this long. And now it's big. Uh, it's go from two points to three points now. So it's an upgrade, I guess. And um, the uh, the head crest has changed. Um, the original head crest used used to be just a pair of sharp pointy thingy. I'm not quite sure what it is. Look a bit like horns and ears, but now it's a pair of thrusters with really nice um, clear green parts with silver foil on the back, which is really shiny, 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 shiny. Yeah. Um, the head is slightly rescaled, but I don't think there's a major difference. It's mainly to accompany for uh, for the two thrusters. Shoulder armor has changed. Um, this shoulder armor is much thicker and much bigger than before. Unlike the old one, which is tiny and quite minuscule. Yeah, it's so Minervakai has been heavily armored up for the space battle. And not to mention, this used to be one piece of color, and now it's two pieces of color. A white piece on the underneath and a dark blue piece in the front, which is much nicer. In fact, you know what? Let's talk about the arms as well. <laughs> yes, I think you're, you're spotting it now. You have all of this. Yes. This kid almost got every part required to actually build the original Minerva, to be honest. Um, here is the lower legs. The only thing is missing is um, an extra piece to decorate the front and back of the heel. And then you basically have the lower leg. Yeah. You have this piece for the ears, which only missing the connector piece because it's different to this one. But that's almost there as well. You have the shoulder armor. You have the lower arms, which you can actually swap out because it's the same uh, polycap part, if I can pull it out. There you go. Yeah, it's almost there. Uh, you know what? Let's change that as well. You know, let's take that. No, I'm not going to take the legs off. That's a stupid one. Uh, but yeah, you do actually have a lot of extra little bits and pieces, so you can actually mess around with with it quite a lot. There's enough um, polycap to actually put the um, fist into the hand, so they didn't skimp on that. Um, there's also oh, where is it? Uh, no, never mind. But yeah, because of that, this kit is actually quite a good value for money, especially if you want custom parts, such as what I'm doing here. So then now Minerva doesn't need to uh, rely on using her own standard weapon anymore, so you can actually use other weapons, such as the Union X, the Cedar X, the Cedar Lance, and the Cedar Gun. Yes, uh, since I'm here, let's talk about it. This is the Union Sword set, uh, a custom weapon set you can actually get. Oh, by the way, this is the value. Uh, the individual weapon has a power of 300. The combined unit saw has a power power rating of seven hundred, which is quite interesting because it's only a little bit more than uh, Minerva's special attack, which is five hundred. Yeah. Oh, by the way, for some reason, uh, Minerva's legs is six hundred, even though there's no weapon, and the body is five hundred, even though there's no extra weapon. Yeah. So anyway, let's talk about the unions. The Union Sword Set. The Union Sword Set comes with a stickers, so they can decorate it. Um, the piece you've just seen, you've seen just now, uh, so they can put it on the dice. And the seat pole arm axe, 
which is pretty nice. The seed for um, spear and the seed plaster of some sort, which looks a little bit odd, but it's all right. With the stickers, um, you're supposed to decorate it with um, in gold for this one and uh, in red for that circle bit. It also comes with um, extra piece here and um, actually an arm to hold it and the other arm to actually support it. So what does it do? Uh, well, it's called a Union Sword Set, so let's say that. can open up, you pull this off, you find this shoulder handle. You need to take a blaster, straighten it, pull the tip of the spears off, plug it in, plug it in, plug it to the tip, and just match up the the X bit, and it becomes a very fat union sword. This is pretty nice, to be honest. Or is it even nicer? Is that now Minerva with the with his um with the original arm, she can hold it. Which is pretty nice. And you know what? Since she's holding the Union Sword. There we go. Hehehe. <laughs> I so it. Hey. So yeah. So here's the some of the very interesting bits about uh, Minerva and the Union Soul set. Ah, actually, there's one more little little extra here. And it's this two piece. This is something that is introduced specifically for the Minerva and the Minerva Kai. And these are actually extra joint piece. For the leg. Right now, the leg piece is straight, and the strider frame design means that the leg doesn't actually go out or forward a lot. Well, what you can do now is take this piece off, put this piece in, and now Minerva can actually put her leg all the way forward. This is designed so that you can actually put Minerva into very, very nice action poses. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, I believe this piece is actually is compatible with all Strider Frame version of uh, LBXs. So, if you have an earlier version of LBX, things like the Konichi uh, who else? Uh, I think the Nightmare and the Joker. If you want them to be in a more dynamic pose, get them in over or Minerva Kai. So yeah, this is basically it. What do I think about her? She's nice. Uh, you can see here she actually got a lot of gold color painted on. Um, all of these are done by uh, just kind of marker. And I have to say, with just a gun marker, it looks pretty good. Uh, I had some of the white uh, on some of the pieces instead of using the stickers. I have to say, the stickers probably works better than the white marker. So, well, it's your choice basically. But I think using white marker might be a good idea. Using some black marker for some of the vent, and off you go. So it looks pretty, really good without any major painting whatsoever. So yeah, this is basically it for me, uh, join me next time for another review.